okay let's go ahead and compare a stack Intel i5 third generation versus a overclocked um, i5 third generation so I'm gonna use my the same computer right now I'm at stack frequency it's like 3.6 gigahertz and I'm going to encode a two minute video on best quality possible high definition with a Microsoft encoder and I'm gonna time it after which I'm gonna go ahead overclock it and uh, do the same thing again and compare the times so let's go ahead and start encoding and start the time as well okay go all right right now it shows five minutes but that thing always changes so i'm gonna time it and let's see what's gonna happen in a second okay i just um overclocked my desktop and now it's running at 4.3 gigahertz instead of 3.6 stack so we're gonna see how much difference this is going to make in the encoding of the two minute high definition video of my screen capture so all the settings are ready uh, by the way at 3.6 it did it in four minutes and 56 seconds so we'll see if we're gonna beat this time right now so, okay let's go ahead and i'm gonna show you the results just in a second i'm not gonna make you wait all the time okay go all right okay guys and here are the final results it was a two minute high definition video encoding in microsoft encoder microsoft expression my desktop has a ssd no video card it only uses the Intel HD 4000 graphics and the stack i5 did it in 4.56 and the overclocked at 4.2 gigahertz did it in 4 minutes and 12 seconds that's that's um, 44 seconds faster which is quite nice especially if the video is longer which they usually are uh, it's gonna save you some time you can uh, depending on the video I, I have a water cooler it's a small 60 hour water cooler that I put in but the temperature the average temperature was 50 on the stack frequency and 60 Celsius on the overclocked CPU which is not bad at all this is under full load and um, this is these are some pretty good results just to compare how powerful this thing really is i tried this video on my old laptop it's a intel centrino duo cpu 1.6 gigahertz and as soon as i clicked in code it uh, um, showed me two hours so the same video takes two hours on a older laptop compared to four minutes on this machine which is quite amazing but yeah, this is what you get with uh, 0.7 gigahertz more and you can easily overclock this thing to a higher frequency and save some more time. Alright, hopefully this helps you choose which CPU to buy.